Lenvima is a groundbreaking medication that has been making waves in the medical community. But what exactly is its mechanism of action, and how does it work? In this video, we will delve into the science behind Lenvima and uncover its inner workings. Understanding the Mechanism of Action Lenvima, also known by its generic name Lenvatinib, belongs to a class of medications called tyrosine kinase inhibitors, TKIs. TKIs are designed to target specific enzymes and receptors that are involved in the growth and spread of cancer cells. By inhibiting these key pathways, Lenvima effectively stunts the tumor's ability to proliferate. One of the primary targets of Lenvima is vascular endothelial growth factor receptor, VEGFR. VEGFR plays a crucial role in angiogenesis, the process by which new blood vessels form to supply nutrients and oxygen to grow in tumors. By blocking VEGFR, Lenvima reduces the blood supply to the tumor, hindering its growth and survival. In addition to VEGFR, Lenvima also inhibits other receptors such as fibroblast growth factor receptor, FGFR, platelet-derived growth factor receptor, PDGFR, and RET. These receptors are involved in various cellular processes that contribute to tumor growth and metastasis. By targeting multiple pathways simultaneously, Lenvima exerts a potent anti-cancer effect. Approved Uses of Lenvima Lenvima was initially approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, for the treatment of advanced thyroid cancer. It is indicated for patients with progressive, locally advanced or metastatic differentiated thyroid cancer DTC, that is refractory to radioactive iodine therapy. In recent years, Lenvima's indications have expanded to include other types of cancer. It has been approved for the treatment of hepatocellular carcinoma HCC, the most common form of liver cancer, in patients who have been previously treated with sorafenib. Lenvima has shown significant improvements in overall survival and progression-free survival in this patient population. Furthermore, Lenvima has demonstrated promising results in the treatment of renal cell carcinoma RCC. It has been approved for use in combination with everolimus, another targeted therapy, for the treatment of advanced RCC after prior anti-angiogenic therapy. The broadening scope of Lenvima's approved uses highlights its potential in various cancer types and positions it as a valuable tool in the fight against cancer. Potential Side Effects of Lenvima Like any medication, Lenvima can cause side effects. It's important to be aware of these potential risks and discuss them with your healthcare provider before starting treatment. One common side effect of Lenvima is hypertension or high blood pressure. This is thought to be related to the drug's anti-angiogenic effects, as VEGFR inhibition can disrupt the normal regulation of blood vessel tone. Regular blood pressure monitoring is crucial during treatment with Lenvima, and medications may be prescribed to manage hypertension if necessary. Gastrointestinal side effects are also common with Lenvima. Diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting may occur, and it's important to stay hydrated and maintain a balanced diet during treatment. Your healthcare provider may recommend anti-nausea medications or other supportive measures to help manage these side effects. Fatigue and decreased appetite are other potential side effects of Lenvima. These symptoms can impact a patient's quality of life, and it's important to communicate any changes in energy levels or appetite to your healthcare provider. Less commonly, Lenvima may cause serious side effects such as liver toxicity, heart problems, or renal impairment. Regular monitoring of liver function, electrocardiograms, and kidney function is necessary to detect and manage these potential complications. Managing and minimizing side effects While side effects can occur with Lenvima, there are strategies to help manage and minimize their impact. Open communication with your healthcare provider is essential, as they can provide guidance and support throughout your treatment journey. For hypertension, lifestyle modifications such as a low-sodium diet, regular exercise, and stress management techniques may help in addition to prescribed medications. It's important to follow your healthcare provider's recommendations and attend regular checkups to monitor your blood pressure. To manage gastrointestinal side effects, dietary modifications such as eating smaller, more frequent meals and avoiding spicy or greasy foods may be beneficial. Adequate hydration and the use of over-the-counter antidiarrheal medications as recommended by your healthcare provider can also help alleviate symptoms. Fatigue and decreased appetite can be addressed through rest and gentle exercise. It may be helpful to engage in activities that promote relaxation and well-being, such as yoga or meditation. Maintaining a balanced diet and seeking support from a registered dietitian or nutritionist can also help ensure adequate nutrition during treatment. Drug interactions with Lenvima Lenvima has the potential to interact with other medications, 
including prescription drugs, over-the-counter medications, and herbal supplements. It's important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications and supplements you are taking to avoid potential interactions. Certain medications can potentiate the side effects of lenvima or reduce its effectiveness. For example, drugs that lower blood pressure may increase the risk of hypotension when taken with lenvima. Conversely, medications that increase blood pressure, such as stimulants or certain antidepressants, may counteract the antihypertensive effects of lenvima. Additionally, lenvima can affect the metabolism of other drugs, potentially altering their levels in the body. Your healthcare provider will carefully consider potential drug interactions when prescribing lenvima and may adjust dosages or select alternative medications if necessary. Important safety information for lenvima. Before starting treatment with lenvima, it's important to discuss your medical history and any existing conditions with your healthcare provider. Lenvima may not be suitable for individuals with certain pre-existing conditions or who are taking specific medications. Pregnant or breastfeeding individuals should also exercise caution when considering Lenvima. It is important to discuss the potential risks and benefits with your healthcare provider, as Lenvima may have harmful effects on a developing fetus or nursing baby. Regular monitoring of blood pressure, liver function, and kidney function is necessary during treatment with Lenvima. Your healthcare provider will determine the appropriate monitoring schedule based on your individual needs. Frequently asked questions about Lenvima. How long does it take for Lenvima to work? The time it takes for Lenvima to work can vary depending on the individual and the type of cancer being treated. It's important to follow your healthcare provider's instructions and attend regular checkups to monitor your progress. Can Lenvima cure cancer? Lenvima is not a cure for cancer but it can significantly improve patient outcomes by inhibiting tumor growth and spread. It is an important tool in the treatment of certain types of cancer and can help extend survival and improve quality of life. What should I do if I experience side effects while taking Lenvima? If you experience any side effects while taking Lenvima, it's important to contact your healthcare provider promptly. They can provide guidance on managing side effects and may adjust your treatment plan if necessary. Can I take Lenvima with other medications? Lenvima has the potential to interact with other medications, so it's important to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications and supplements you are taking. They can determine if there are any potential interactions and adjust your treatment plan accordingly. How long will I need to take Lenvima? The duration of Lenvima treatment will vary depending on the individual and the type of cancer being treated. Your healthcare provider will determine the appropriate duration based on your specific circumstances. Case Studies and Success Stories to further illustrate the potential of Lenvima, let's explore a few case studies and success stories of patients who have benefited from this medication. Case Study 1. Thyroid Cancer Sarah, a 45-year-old woman diagnosed with advanced thyroid cancer, had undergone surgery and radioactive iodine therapy but experienced disease progression. Her healthcare provider recommended Lenvima as a targeted therapy option. After starting treatment, Sarah's tumor markers decreased, and her scans showed a reduction in tumor size. Lenvima helped stabilize her disease and improve her quality of life. Case Study 2, Liver Cancer. John, a 60-year-old man diagnosed with hepatocellular carcinoma, had previously been treated with sorafenib without significant improvement. His healthcare provider decided to initiate Lenvima treatment. After several months, John's liver function tests improved, and his scans showed a reduction in tumor size. Lenvima prolonged his overall survival and provided him with additional time to spend with his loved ones. These case studies highlight the potential of Lenvima in improving patient outcomes and providing hope for individuals facing challenging cancer diagnoses. Conclusion Lenvima, with its impressive mechanism of action and expanding range of approved uses, is a valuable addition to the arsenal of targeted therapies in the fight against cancer. While it can cause side effects, Open communication with your healthcare provider and appropriate management strategies can help minimize their impact. If you or a loved one are considering Lenvima as a treatment option, it's important to have a thorough discussion with your healthcare provider to fully understand its benefits, potential risks, and individualized treatment plan. With ongoing research and advancements in personalized medicine, Lenvima continues to pave the way for improved patient outcomes and a brighter future in cancer treatment. Thanks for watching.